Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you could pop in for a little bit just to see me ramble on about a product that probably isn't as good as I think it is. But anyway, uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I do videos uh, relatively frequently, and uh, you know, there's there's content on this channel for everyone, right? So you know, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you find out later on that I suck, <laughs> or you know, you're just not interested. Uh, feel free to unsubscribe. It won't hurt my feelings, maybe. Uh, anyway, moving on. So, <clears throat> yesterday's video. Sorry, I'm trying to get my mustache all straightened away. Uh, yesterday's video, I, I mentioned, uh, I think I talked about the bar soap uh, from Goodfellow & Co. Uh, that is a Target brand. And, uh, I, I, you know, I talked about it and, you know, boasted about it and how good it was and how I can't wait to use it and all that good stuff. Uh, I got other Goodfellow & Co. products that we're going to take a look at. Uh, one video at a time, though. Uh, that way, you know, I can milk it a little bit, right? Uh, the, the video for today, we are talking about Goodfellow & Co. Face Scrub. It's the same scent, the Moroccan Mint and Cedar, I think it's what? Yeah, Moroccan Mint and Cedar. Uh, First of all, first of all, let's just say this. <clears throat> the first thing I have to say is it looks like one of those uh, extremely, uh, extremely like healthy uh, toothpastes that you can get, like the uh, the Hello uh, charcoal toothpaste. It looks exactly like this, but just a different color. That's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, but it's in fact not toothpaste. Uh, it is face scrub. But, uh, you know, it looks, the, the labeling looks identical to what the, um, what, what all their other products look like. So, you know, it's, uh, it, you can't mistake it for anything other than Good Film & Co. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, an exotic Moroccan mint scent with floral and coconut hints and a woody musk finish. Uh, it's the same kind of description as the bar soap. And I will say this. It also smells 100% just like the bar soap and the liquid soap. So, I mean, kudos to Goodfellow & Co. They, to keep it, you know, keep that scent going through all their products. That's wild. That doesn't happen very often. It, it's far and few between. I'll say that a lot of times you know, scents get lost when you go from like a bar soap to a, uh, to a, you know, liquid soap to a face scrub. So kudos to Goodfellow, keep it up. And uh, hopefully we'll see more for, from, from Goodfellow & Co. in the future because I want their product line to expand. I want, I want Goodfellow & Co. deodorant, guys, come on. Um, there is the ingredients list right here if you're interested at all you can pause the video take a peek and uh, you know decide for yourself if it's good enough for you or your spouse um <clears throat> how to use dampen face and hands with warm water work scrub into a lather and massage into skin in an upright and circular motion rinse with lukewarm water and pat dry see here's the thing this is how I use it, and I'm just going to tell you how I use it. Uh, it's already in the shower with me, so I, I take a, a, a somewhat warm shower and uh, scrub the shit on my face. I don't really need instructions on how to do that. Uh, but, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, the, the problem is... This has walnut shell in it, so if you have any type of like walnut allergy or any nut allergy like that, I would probably steer away from this product. Uh, but that's it has whole ass pieces of, of walnut shell in there that, that help exfoliate and just beat the piss out of your pores, and that's that's what helps clean your face. Uh, uh, you know, and the walnut shell gently and effectively exfoliate dead skin cells. And the apricot oil contains restorative properties to help soothe and soften skin. Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, I've used it, and I love it, and uh, I will buy it again, given the chance. Uh, 
USA with globally sourced materials. So that's uh, that's a good way of saying that we got everything foreign and then we put it together in, in the United States. So is what it is. Uh, how many other brands are making shit in the US? Probably none. Doesn't matter, but it does. Uh, warning, external use only, discontinue use if redness or irritation occurs, and consult your doctor. Avoid eye contact. If you can, if contact occurs, rinse immediately with water. Do not use if you have a tree nut allergy, just like I mentioned. Um, keep out of reach of children, and uh, you'll be fine. But the top notes are, uh, and I love, I love the notes. I, I love these top notes. Cardamom, nutmeg, Moroccan mint, and citrus. Middle notes, you know, the notes that are somewhere in between the top and bottom. Uh, the middle notes, jasmine, violet, coconut, alima, alimi, elemi, I don't know. Base notes, cedarwood, sandalwood, vanilla, musk. You know, the scent of musk. Anyway, uh, if if you don't believe me, there there is the... Uh, the notes. Take a look at it yourself. Um, as far as the exfoliation goes in this product right here, uh, here here's my preference, right? When I'm buying exfoliating, uh, you know, anything, <coughs> excuse me, when I buy an exfoliating anything, I want it to, I want it to be rough because that, that's the only way that I feel like my skin's getting clean, which more than likely isn't the case, but in my mind, that's how it works. You know, the rougher, the better. Uh, well, this thing right here, if you apply enough pressure, it, it will be rough. And it, it's it's the exact type of roughness that I'm, that I'm looking for. But if you, on the other hand, are preferring something uh, exfoliating that's a little less rough, all you gotta do is just gently, gently rub it on your face. You don't have to do what I do. You know, be your own person. But uh, I love this product. I really do. A little bit goes a long way. I will say that because this thing is like plum full of walnut shells. So you don't have to get like a bunch to get, you know, uh, to, uh, enough walnut shell to cover your face. So um, that's really cool. Really, really cool. But uh, that's pretty much it for this. Gentle exfoliant that removes dead cells and refines skin texture. Bam. I'm kind of in love with this product. It, it's it's very it's very unique. It, it looks badass. It looks like you just got it from like one of those uh, you know subscription based services, but uh, no, got it from Target. And, and once again, the, the nice uh, off-white creamy color with the olive green color really blends in well. This is almost the same color that me and my wife painted our, our son's nurse for you. So, you know, I'm a sucker for those types of colors. However, this thing, I think this thing was like $5, and this is only 4 ounces, but, you know, this will last you quite some time. So, uh, the value is still ah, somewhere in the middle. Not too bad, but not too good. Uh, but the product speaks for itself, and I would suggest getting it. Um, yeah. It looks very, I don't know if, let me unscrew it and see if I can get any out. Dag on it. But, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not. Hopefully, I'll, I'll try to get out of the way here. You see how brown it looks, though? It looks like, like some ground-up coffee junk. Anyway, that makes me think of something else. But, uh, that wasn't intended. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. So, uh, first of all, let's, you know, packaging wise, um, give this about a seven, a seven out of 10, just because I feel like, uh, these things right here are very hard to reuse. Like the, uh, the shampoo bottles that you can get are extremely reusable for other things, but there's really 
no way of, of using this junk. So it just goes directly in the trash or, or, you know, if you're lucky enough to have a good enough recycling center, uh, around you, you can, you can recycle it that way. But, uh, usually tubes like these just go right in the landfill. So, uh, seven out of 10, it looks cool, but after it's done and gone, it's pretty much useless. Uh, Product wise, I'll have to easily give this a 9 out of 10 just because it works so well and it smells fabulous. Uh, value, I will also give it a, a 7 out of 10 just because uh, it's it's stuck somewhere in the middle. It's still pretty good, but it's not the best. So, uh, that, you know, that's my opinion. Now, all these are my opinions. If you don't like them, you know what? That's fine. Don't really care. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. I got about three more uh, Goodfellow & Co. products to get through. And uh, you see, I'm very, I'm very thorough when I, when I talk about something. I like to talk about, you know, top to bottom. What it looks like, what it's packaged in, what it smells like, how much it costs. But I uh, got three more products to get through, and then maybe we can move on to something else. If you got any suggestions about what I should take a look at, let me know in the comments below, and uh, maybe I'll I'll check them out. Anyway, uh, subscribe.